Evening, sir. Evening. Who made the call? Chap who lives here. Name of Stringer. Some sort of professor by the looks of things. Lots of books. Reported seeing an intruder in the garden. That's him. I think you might appreciate the reassurance of a senior officer, don't you? You can try asking him. Don't go anywhere. We uh, need a lift back to town. There's a surprise. Detective Inspector Lewis. I simply reported an intruder in the garden. I wasn't expecting a four-power conference. Coincidence. We were at a party across the road. Dr Hobson's. Yes, I know Dr Hobson. Though not well enough to be invited to a party. Mercifully, by the sound of it. Doctors. One or two glasses of champagne, they revert to being medical students again. This intruder, if he were to find his way into your house, is there anything worth stealing? There are some first editions, which are probably quite valuable, but I can't imagine the average bugler knowing which ones to choose and then selling them off down at the pub. Well, I suppose if such a bugler existed, Oxford might be the place to find him. But you saw an intruder. I heard the neighbour's dog barking. Ah, dogs. That's what they do best. I looked out the window and saw, or thought I saw somebody in the garden. There'd been a number of burglaries in the air, so I called the police, as recommended by the leaflets from the neighbourhood watch. Well, I think I was putting my faith in the deterrent effect of the flashing blue lights. Seems to have worked. Could it be personal? You'll have to explain. Well, if, as you say, there's nothing of obvious street value... I perhaps. think the sergeant's wondering whether you might have enemies. I teach English literature. My speciality is the romantic poets of the 19th century. Keats, Shelley, Byron, rest of the guys in the band. Among others, it's not a profession which tends to attract violent enemies. Now, we're a bit right in thinking we've exhausted the possibilities of this discussion. I think so, don't you, Sergeant? Unquestionably. 